Well, the debate does continue over a proposed arena for the Sixers in Center City. A new study shows a loss of tax revenue if the arena is built. The arena would be constructed in the fashion district between 10th and 11th, bordering Chinatown. CBS Philadelphia's Dan Snyder has more on the new study as well as reaction from the developers. A new report adding fuel to the fight over the proposed Sixers Arena on Market East. University of Washington professor and Penn grad Arthur Alcohen on Thursday released an analysis of possible impacts the arena could have on nearby businesses and city tax revenue. There are clearly some, um, some potential negative, uh, negative impact on existing businesses that, that need to be taken into account. Alcohen based his numbers on five years of construction and 30 years of arena operations. In his low impact scenario, upwards of 170 businesses could close and the city would lose out on more than 227 million in taxes. In the high impact category, Alcohen puts it at more than 500 businesses closed and more than 900 million in tax revenue lost. But the professor says these numbers are not definite and are meant to be be part of the entire conversation. We want to make sure that is that the best and highest use for that site, or would there be other uses that could generate more positive externality for using businesses. In a statement, 76 DevCorp called the findings fatally flawed. Stephen Mullen with EconSult Solutions, who has done analysis for the Sixers, also took issue with the report, saying he doesn't consider it an analysis at all. Mullen says more study needs to be done to find the true impact on businesses, but there are some things he believes the arena could bring. A lot more people, a lot more activity, a lot more spending here in that area. At City Hall, decision makers await the city's long anticipated impact study. Councilmember Mark Squilla says there's still no time frame on when they'll see that, but Squilla says this debate will come to an eventual end, and he believes there's a better timeline for that. I think by the end of this year, it'll be determined whether we move forward or not. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia. And no doubt this back and forth is far from over. We'll also be keeping you updated and informed around the clock at cbsphiladelphia.com.